Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 45th episode of Doki Doki Precure. And last episode, we had the whole King of Seito Kaicho thing, which shockingly was not a real thing. It was all just a ruse. And we also had like the return of Joe, which was a pretty big deal. So I guess we'll see what we do in this episode. So let's jump on in. Three, two, one, let. Yeah, but we didn't fall for it completely. You don't sound too troubled. Yeah, what have you been doing this whole this whole time? <laughs> I thought I was just all scolding Joe. Right. Well, that's good to hear. What is that? Oh, really? Okay. I guess I guess that's something. He just just has it. <laughs> okay, I guess I can partially forgive you for not being around. Three, two, one. Doki doki pre q uh, 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 Hello, hello. Sponsor segment. What's our title? The Faded Duel. Okay, that sounds pretty exciting. Maybe our final, our final battle. Well, you know, regarding Regina. Oh, I... Sparkles. Okay, yeah, some communication. Okay. Just kind of floats away. <sighs> okay, that's all we got set on that mission. Maybe he did have his own epic adventure off screen this whole time. While we were playing with the lovely pad and stuff. Some Tomb Raider. <laughs> okay. Imagine we skip past a lot there. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe he just walked in there and just... Hey, I found it. Cool. Ooh, there it is. Wow, that does look pretty impressive. All the knowledge in the world. That definitely sounds useful. Right, naturally. <laughs> Wow, that actually suits her rather nicely. Because you are, you already know everything. 
I'll be careful with it. She gonna break it. Oh. Uh, maybe she's the one that was meant to have it. So, yeah, is the knowledge flowing within her? Are we gonna get some answers? I definitely see some flashback stuff. In a heartbeat. <laughs> Yeah, it's really hard to see what's going on because it's all like transparent and overlaid and stuff, but something was definitely going on there. I now have all the knowledge of the universe. <coughs> oh, hopefully, she's, hopefully she's okay though. Yeah, I thought they would be, like, by her side. I guess not. Just <laughs> dropped her off. So, do you feel any difference? More knowledgeable, perhaps? Any plot stuff you want to explain to me? <laughs> A very broad question. Okay. Well, then you're the only one that can answer that question. <sighs> yeah, there we go. <sighs> Surely ignorance was bliss. It all depends on you. Good thing she was there. Okay, I'm not sure why I lingered on that shot so much. I was like, kind of expecting the the friends to come in or something. Okay, nice to see you too. Okay, I guess we're gathering. Oh, <laughs> well, just <laughs> she just she can just do that. Uh huh. Okay. Um. That was that was so quick it kind of caught me off guard. Uh, okay. So just this whole time you were being fooled. Well, oh, I mean, for, at first I thought she just, like, released the princess, but now she just, like, shattered the illusion. I can't really chime in because I wasn't told, but... Yeah, the titular fight. They're making me much more curious about what they t what she told them. She would. I'm kind of having gears turn turn turning in my head right now, trying to. Put pieces together. Because that being a fake really opens up a lot of new doors. Because I was thinking princess reincarnation stuff, but the princess was there, so that kind of 
was a problem, but now that we know that's not the case, it really opens a lot of doors. Like, maybe, uh, maybe Agudi and Regina are two halves of the princess, like, like, split. There's a theory that came to mind. Regina happy and brainwashed by the king of selfishness. Did she say her goodbyes with like a letter or something? I honestly barely remember this character. She was like one episode a while ago. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, definitely a making it seem like she'll be gone forever sort of thing, which might be the case. We still don't really know exactly what's going on. <laughs> oh my god holy sh uh, <laughs> that is a lot uh, is uh, our goodie showing up <laughs> Okay, yeah, we showed up. Yeah, the tables are turned now. We're the ones showing up the battle. <laughs> I got the crown of knowledge. What an only. Oh, we're, we're betting our legendary weapons. Okay. <laughs> that is definitely one way to solve the result. Yeah, to resolve this. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how things go. I'm hoping for the best. L O V E B B Bum 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 You are a cure ace and that is cure sword. Yeah, that's what she's here for, to, to ensure we can have our one-on-one -on -one un uninterrupted. Okay, this could be pretty cool 1v1, so I am hyped for it, but I'm also worried about it. Uh, yeah, did she just, like, absorb the knowledge, or just... Oh, she, oh yeah, she made it into the little thing again, okay. I, I forgot I could do that. Because that's how we first saw it. Let's go! <laughs> you got a weapon, I got a leg. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going to be a big scale battle. Just a lot of collateral damage. Ah! You're supposed to stay put. As I enjoy my lollipop. Like I'm Sanji from One Piece in the Four Kids dub. After this commercial break, we get back to the action. I 
I am not running away. I am strategically retreating from the attacks. <laughs> Why won't you st stand still and let me stab you? <laughs> Some incredible flip in there. <laughs> yeah, these are two quite powerful warriors. Uh, definitely probably want to dodge this. Yeah, like that. Heard a growl. <laughs> Feel free to attack them, I don't mind. Only time will tell. But yeah, they've definitely been making her fate seem like a tragic thing for a while now, so... As a result, I've been worried for a while now, but... I guess a pretty good show, like, it can't really get that dark, surely, so... Oh god, that really does look like a very intimidating attack. Like a just dragon of the darkness flame almost. Just not as epic. Uh, well, guess it wasn't too tough. Says you. We just have to finish it up quickly. Oh. Oh, okay. That's what I was kind of hoping for. She's leveled up. If anything, it makes it fair because you don't have a time limit. <laughs> Take that. Okay, the fight definitely seems to be shifting in her direction. This is definitely one of the more epic fights we've had so far. Come on, push harder. Kamehameha! Seems pretty even so far. <laughs> Just blow up the whole place. Well, probably a big creator right now. Uh, where'd they go? Well, that's Agudi. Okay, there's Regina. So, yeah, both kind of knocked out. Where, is that, where does that leave us? Because I'm sure they're not dead or anything, but... We tell them to kiss and make up. Yeah, I would imagine. I mean, I don't have to imagine I, I saw it. Yeah, spoken like a true villain. Oh god, tentacles. Don't along with Regina May. Oh no. Tentacles say no. Freaking John, Joe, whatever's already got it. Already got I sure could use Mana Tachi's help. Uh, uh. So much for that one on one. I know the feeling, I'm with you there. We really need Mana to come in clutch. Yeah, we are definitely on the same page. I expect Mana to show up any second now. Any second now. And, 
I, I mean, I assume, I assume this is mana. <laughs> yep. Well, mana, everyone, right? Mana's group. <laughs> With that amazing entrance. The, the music playing and everything. You are definitely a sight for sore eyes. For sure. Yeah, now that we're all together, um, yeah, I think you're in trouble. Even I, I chan is here. <laughs> that is such a mouthful. <laughs> But as long as it works, that's what matters. <laughs> so I guess that's the end. I mean, it look, look, look like they bailed. But uh, Regina was left here, right? Can we take her home? Yeah, Regina was left here. Yeah, we're not going to let you finish her off. Like, Mana's not gonna do that, which is why we left her back there to begin with. We saw how that worked out. Because <laughs> it's talked about a lot in fiction. Okay, yeah, please fill us in on the details. Okay. Right, so... Okay, so yeah, pretty much more or less what I was, expl what I was thinking. A battle between good and evil of the two sides of the same coin, only one can reign supreme. Pretty much with the line of thinking I was, I was on. I wasn't super confident, confident in it, but it was the line of thinking I was on. Like was my internal working theory. Especially when they were bringing up the whole fate thing. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, the E. Break you up. But still, I hope we can find a compromise somehow. Because I don't want Regina to disappear. Like, I don't want that. I don't want Agri to disappear either. So, can we just find a new fate? Change destiny? Ugh. <sighs> mm. mm. Well, maybe if they did battle in Regina 1, maybe Regina would take Aguri's spot in the ED. It'd be worth it on that basis. And then our, uh, our preview, yeah. Okay, so that was the 45th episode of Doki Doki Precure. And in this episode, we had we had Joe back, and he actually brought the third legendary treasure. I was kind of thinking, you know, no, but we don't really have a whole lot of time left to get that thing, so Joe just kind of shows up with it. So I guess we, we already got that dealt with, which is cool. And Aguri apparently was the one that was meant to use it, which makes sense, because she is, like I, like I thought, kind of like a... A, a sort of a reincarnation of the of the the princess like they still didn't go into too much detail on it basically just said they were both regina and agri come from the same life form right 
but still, it's still reincarnation, reincarnation in a sense, right? Like it's becoming, going from being one existence to, to another. I, I, I don't know a better word for it, so I'll continue to probably use that term. So she uh, learned the truth about that. And yeah, the why she had all those memories and stuff that was kind of associated with the princess, it, it makes sense. Like I said, the biggest thing why I wasn't already kind of thinking along those lines was because we already had the princess, right? And we can't just have Agudi be a reincarnation of the princess if the princess is like still around, just sealed, and we have to like free her, right? That was the biggest reason why I wasn't really going really hard on that another sort of theory, right? On either Agudi or Regina being like a reincarnation of the princess because both those thoughts were thoughts I was having but those those were kind of mutually exclusive but once you start to think of it and like well why not both just split into the two right so that all makes sense like I said the puzzle pieces were kind of put together the princess that we thought we had being a fake really was like the final piece it was almost like a false piece that was gotten was gotten rid of that kind of allowed everything to kind of click into place so but, yeah, the idea that they had to battle to the death and only one can survive, that is a pretty tragic thing, but they did talk a little bit in the episode about maybe changing fate, like, so I do feel like we'll, have, we'll somehow be able to to avoid that, but uh, we'll, we'll see. I just, I don't want Regina to disappear, right? Like, for so long I've been thinking we would be able to, like, rescue her somehow, bring her into our side, become friends with her, you know, get back to that friendship status, get her away from the evil side, and we all just become friends and hang out. Like, I've, for so long, I've kind of had that as a hope in my mind. It's, it's kind of hard to just let that go as, like, well, she was destined to be destroyed by Agudi, and Agudi reigns supreme as the as the princess, right? It's a bit of a tough pill, pill to swallow, but... But it's just kind of funny because those were two different thoughts I was having for, for a while. Like, Agudi could be some kind of reincarnation of the princess, but Regina, Regina, I also kind of have reasons why I think she could be a reincarnation of the princess. But obviously, for so long, I thought those were mutually exclusive. But once we got the whole uh, fate thing, the battle between the two of them, it, it does kind of, yeah, you start to realize, well, why not both? Obviously, it's a battle between potential reincarn reincarnations and only one will reign supreme and probably like absorb the other but the other's consciousness will disappear but their power will 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 go inside the other one right that sort of thing if you've seen data live kind of like the thing with the two the two orange haired girls you know in the early season two that battled each other only one but in the end they both just remain as separate existences you know, spoiler alert. So that's why I think maybe they, maybe they can do that here, just remain as they are, right? We'll see. That's what I hope. I mean, that's kind of the best thing to hope for, that they both remain themselves, but Regina still manages to become a good guy nonetheless, right? I mean, we've already been, like, knocking on that door of her, of her heart, right? So I feel like we could make that happen, but we'll see. Either way, there's no way Mana's going to just stand by and let Aguri destroy her friend like that. That's just not going to happen, so... It's got to be something like that, right? We just somehow managed to have the both of them remain. So, we'll see, though. We'll see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, we are definitely getting, to the, getting into the final stretch of the show. So, fingers crossed. Hope for the best. That's all we can do. But uh, that's all I got to say. So, thank you for watching. I hope you click that like button and support me on Patreon. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.